Hello, family, and thank you for coming back for another edition of Deb Chanel's 48th World with the Family Affair, and that's you all. All right, you are my co-host, and I am thankful to have you here with me today. And um, we're just going to go on quick, fast, in a hurry and get this video on out the way because I think my pain medicine is wearing off, and I wanted to get something out uh, for you guys. Um, to review and recap on this shameful masquerade of a debacklement of a stage show when we came down to the Windbush house and we were trying to support Mark and his black lab, uh, black man's lab charity event. Okay, we get this information from realityblurb.com. Uh, and the author of this particular article that was written on Cynthia Bailey putting her two cents in on what she felt, what she saw, and what she heard at that event that they showed us on Real Housewives of Atlanta that aired on the 1st of March. Okay. I didn't know that all happened, honey, because they didn't show all of that what Cynthia was talking about. I like, what? Who, would, when, and who, what, where, and when did that happen? Because they didn't show that part on TV. And I'm talking about Cynthia giving her rendition, her perspective of what she saw and felt uh, about Mike and his event and how it turned out. I meant Mark, I'm sorry. But I want to give y'all a little update on my um, health issue that I had over this past weekend. They called, and what well, the radiologist department had called and updated me saying that I had a fractured rib. My seventh rib was fractured and I had a what do you call it? A injury shoot, I forgot it's an injury. Um when it came to my right um shoulder. A left shoulder I mean a right shoulder injury. Uh, I'm going to find a little bit more out with that. Because I said an injury impaction or something like that. And then, of course, I was, uh, my left hip is inflamed because I landed on it. And I can feel when I was laying on my side, my right side. So, I don't know what's going to become I, of me. I believe it's going to be where I'm going to have to mend uh, that rib that is broken or fractured. I don't think they have surgery i mean i guess they could if they warranted felt it was warranted but i don't know yet i'm waiting on an appointment to be made uh at the or well orthopedics doctor i think or ortho yeah orthopedics doctor so i will let y'all know furthermore when i know because i know your family i know you wishing me well and please keep me in your prayers as well as well as Anna Banana as well okay I haven't forgot about her and Rita no I'm not trying to be like you and <laughs> trying to have surgery child I can barely take this ibuprofen uh what is it 800 milligrams three times a day and it's still just dulling the pain it ain't getting rid of the pain so all my exercise I was looking forward to and struggling with that's gonna have to be put on hold as well so if you don't hear me talk about it it's because I did this feat this past Saturday they got me in the pickle jar of disappointment right now okay because I know better I don't know what I was thinking when I was trying to tackle that tree but I know in my pocket, I was thinking I ain't going to pay no 700 some odd dollars for them to remove that tree. So my frame of thinking was just basically to trim the uh, the branches. But that's another whole story within itself as well. And I will let the professionals do it from this point on. Okay, but let's get on into this article. The article was titled, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia Bailey Shares New Details About Mark Daly's asshole is what they wanted to say behavior plus why he was irritated excuse me with Eva Marcel as she calls him out for how he treated Kenya more okay not Kenya more daily but Kenya more since she's not putting that end of her name as daily I guess this uh, journalist says she ain't doing it either <laughs> so right now she's known as Kenya more Okay, starting up more trouble. And she had a security guard 
calling herself, uh, calling himself, following her everywhere. I'm like, don't nobody want Kenya? Now, Kenya was doing a little extra high in her own bodyguard. And you see that star dress I was telling y'all about? I didn't really think that was appropriate. That's something you go to the club with or whatnot. I don't know what Kenya was dressed in, but she could be paying homage to, uh, the people she really get down to pledge that she's Illuminati queen and she's going to represent them and wear all their apparel and accessories as well. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, The Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey is not holding back when it comes to her good friend and co-star Kenya Moore, estranged husband Mark Dalen. Now, how many times have we told women to stay in a woman's place and a man stay in a man's place and they dwell accordingly? Why is it that Cynthia act like she want to tell Mike off? Then when he hurt her feelings, then she going to be more might to step in. And I'm like, see, Cynthia, you're getting into some, some territory you don't need to be in, okay? Just because everybody messing with you and saying what you don't need to be doing with Mike. Uh, we tried to tell you that before you got engaged and then you still talking about you getting married So it ain't too much you can tell you can't really tell Kenya nothing either because she ain't really listening to you Remember she's the one saying you a big mouth. You can't keep secrets. Okay now Eva no she was wrong I'm gonna go on and pre tell you that he was mad at Eva because she eat she was eating before the guests He didn't like her doing that. And I'm right with Mark on that because for one you knew what you felt like before you left home. That's that dress I was telling y'all about. That's not appropriate. And then Todd gonna come in some jeans. I'm like, what is what kind of mess is this? Is this a black tie affair? Or this is come as you are. You know, like you go to church, come as you are. I was kind of like, girl, where is Todd and Candy going? Okay, she didn't dress like that when she was going to Clyde Davis party. Okay, everything was luxury and prompt. Now, we, you know when you go to a charity event, you're supposed to be somewhat looking nice, okay? A black tie affair. So, it, I was really wrong when I saw this. Um, I'm like, did y'all just make up the black lab just to have a storyline? Uh, excuse me, for Mark to partake in because it, it just didn't look right. It was shabby chic, if y'all get that. That's the motif they gave me, shabby chic. But anyway, we're going to go on back to the article. It says, uh... Let me read this again. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey is now holding back when it comes to her good friend and co-star Kenya Moore, estranged husband Mark Daly, as she shares new details about what Bravo didn't show regarding Mark's a-hole behavior during the charity event. Following last night's explosive episode surrounding Mark's charity event and the end of his marriage to Kenya, Cynthia and Eva Marcel shared their thoughts on the event and all its dramatic aftermath after the Real Housewives of Atlanta had went off. They had like a, a I guess, a after show or something to that effect or whatnot. But anyway, they were still talking about Mark and they were dogging him out. They were like, put him in the pot with some boiling water and just let hey, I Just let stew him to death. Let's just boil him, boil him, and boil him till he is no more. That's what they were giving me, okay? Put him in the pot and let's cook his behind. But going back to the article, it says there's a couple things I really didn't appreciate about that night at the charity event and Cynthia in the video. Uh, we'll say it Cynthia in the video. The reality star went on to explain how unappreciative and disrespectful she felt Mark was considering the effort Kenya put into helping with the event. Well, as we could say or see, it seemed like Kenya threw her own self in there to be the caterer, the music director, the security planner. Uh, am I missing anything? Uh, setting up uh, the seating arrangements. She did that on her own. He could have, he, you know, she could have hired somebody. Kenya didn't have to do all that. She could have let her hands got the walking on them yellow pages or on her phone and hook something up. So she just come in with her husband together instead of them riding separately. I mean, I don't understand. Can you, you need to give us a little bit more before I am going to be feeling sorry for you. Because it just don't make no sense. It really don't. But going back to the article, it says that night, I guess I was paying even more attention. 
then I would normally because my kid was hosting. I said, oh, so everything is a bore to you if it ain't your man up there, Cynthia. That's what you're trying to tell a girl. You ain't paying attention to nobody unless your man's up there speaking. Girl, you such an Illuminati queen. Okay, but anyway, she explains one of the things that I noticed Mark didn't do. He didn't think thank Kenya for helping him with the event, which I know she did. Kenya's the reason we were all there. I was like, but girl, no, Kenya's not really the reason all of you are there. Y'all all went bowling except for Nene, Port, well, Nene, Tanya, and Shamia, I think it was. But we don't really count, to Sham uh, count Shamia in the game because she's still a friend. They give him more time to Marlo and Tanya than they are doing her. But it's, you know, it's good, it's good. So my thing is, no. That is not where the problem started. And ain't nobody going to really tell me that's when the problem started. No, that's not when the problem started. The problem, to my perspective, started when you wanted to throw Mike into this reality show. I meant Mark, not Mike. You wanted to throw him in head first and just telling him to deal with it. Well, he got tired of the cameras rolling everywhere. Featuring some people that probably didn't want to be on screen. They like their discretion. You know, and they don't want people to know who they messing with. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a frame of reference. So, I get it got a good on why Mike, I mean Mark, did not want to be filmed. I mean, I guess he was told he was going to have a certain section, certain amount of time filming. That was it. And it looked like they may have went overboard and tried to take more than what they had agreed to. And Mike just went, I mean, Mark just went ballistic, okay, in his own fashion, his own way. I'm sure Kenya saw it coming. But, uh, you know, she was wanting to rock around being a hostess. I'm like, this ain't no birthday party or no event party at your house, girl. That's why you have ushers. That's why you have hostesses. That's why you have women and men catering to your need. Not that you need to get up and say anything, Kenya. And Ma wasn't having it and didn't want you to say nothing, okay? You just needed to have dealt with that situation on your own. But you were trying to make individual uh, chaos on your own. You know, you made a little chaos scene with Marlo and her two nephews. Then you made a little chaotic scene with Tanya with the seating arrangement. Same seating arrangement with Marlo and the kid. Oh, you were just doing too much. Just let have let people sit where they want to sit, especially if it's an open chair. I mean, it really wasn't like it's a big gala of superstars coming through. And plus, like you said, Marlo didn't pay. And I'm like, well, if she's a part of the housewives, she knew she had to pay. You should have stopped her at the front door before she even got camera time and say, did you pay for your meal, baby? But can we take that money on anyway? So then it wouldn't have been a situation where you had to talk about Marlo. Because Marla could have gave you the money out of that. But you had blew her out the water. And she didn't pay. The children she bought with her was not the time to bring those children. But since she did, you didn't pay for those either. So she was just looking at Marla totally trifling. So let's go on back to the article. Uh, it says, Eva also pointed out how Mike even tried to prompt Mark after he, after his speech uh, left out. Thanking Kenya saying how the men should acknowledge our queen's out there as well Eva did cut Mark a bit of, of a break suggesting that because he's not super duper outgoing from a communication standpoint he may have simply forgotten still Cynthia felt it was in poor taste no Mark did not forget about Kenya no he did and y'all y'all fam y'all tell me do it seem like Mark got some kind of attention attention and uh, attention deficit disorder I mean he was just rambling 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 and he's kind of being a aggressive with it and i'm like he seemed like he got adhd attention deficit uh syndrome going on i don't know it may just be me and i'm just looking too into mike's demeanor but to me it seems like he has something going on and as a disorder uh but anyway um leaving that situation it says cynthia also shared how she's seen all sides of mark including an amazing side because of that she has Sometimes understood why Kenya chose him as a partner, but she also knows that he can be not not that nice either Okay, and this is the Bailey wine cellar owner went on to explain how Mark essentially Ignored her and fiance Mike after they made a great effort to arrive on time or to arrive a little earlier than the event 
uh, on the show appeared that Mark ignored them for only a few minutes. But according to Cynthia, he ignored them for much longer. And I'm like, okay, sidebar. Cynthia, were you by the cameraman? Uh, you know Mike don't like the cameras at all. He don't, he know everybody mic'd up. And he couldn't have a truly conversation, real conversation with you because everything's being taped. And he might was like feeling that way from the beginning. He didn't want no cameras on him and he didn't want to be mic'd up. But he didn't have a choice. Okay, this is something Kenya threw at him. And, and he felt he had to bring it on the show. But he knew what they were going to do. So I'm like, it was a bit piss poor that he could not be an open guy without being harassed the whole night as he felt as he thought the cameras and the producers were trying to do where well, he couldn't really mix and mingle because he had to stay Mike or it would look bad and they probably would make Kenya pay the price for it and he didn't want to hear it so that's what I got from it but anyway uh it didn't seem like it was 20 minutes but hey taping is amazing editing is amazing so she probably did wait. I don't take Cynthia as a liar. She's a half truth teller, but she's not really a liar. Okay, so uh, it goes on to say he didn't even speak to us for the first 20 minutes or so, Cynthia said, adding that Mark seemed like he was in a bad mood or agitated and that his energy was off. The latest also discussed how Mark was allegedly upset with Eva. I heard he was mad that I ate early, shared Eva. Well, that did come up, which was another a-hole thing. Cynthia added that Mark being agitated with Eva, you're a pregnant woman, you're about to have a baby on the floor, right? I felt bad after that, said Eva, saying how people told her how Mark was really irritated she ate before everyone else. The ladies continued to hint at the drama between Kenya and Mark that all came to a head at the event, which reports of mark kicking out production now my side boy okay now Eva, you really don't have an excuse you are really quick fast in a hurry big as hell you should have been had the baby but the baby was trying to come out but you didn't want the baby to come out because it could have been some com communications later on and he needed to sit in your stomach a little more and bake okay get that got that good why couldn't you have snacks why couldn't you have eaten something that would have tied you over until you thought it was going to be serving time at Mark's event. Why did you have to be? It seemed like you were being a little extra too. Why you got to be like Kenya? You know, yeah, that's the sad dress Kenya uh, can roll. Look like she's supposed to be out in a club or somewhere. You see how they wear wearing it with boots? That's kind of the party scene. This was a charity event. Uh, candy what were you thinking baby but anyway and that's the black men lab that was functioning in Atlanta at the Wimbush house now, can't you know some of them men look suspect for the negative I'm just saying I am just saying then you got tied up there wearing some jeans and a little blazer top I'm like where did they do that at all right well, who is his stylist we need to have a combo but anyway uh it goes on to say uh, well, getting back to Eva. Yeah, Eva, I think you were wrong on that because, and Cynthia shouldn't have really said anything because when a pregnant woman has many different emotions they go through, they get hungry at weird times of the day. I'm like, where were your snacks, girl? Where was your snacks? You should not leave home without them. But anyway, Eva was like, well, I'm sorry. I was hungry. Da, 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 da. Well, at a $100 or $200 plate, cost hopefully you paid the debt to even have a plate to begin with but i agree with mark that was a, a bit tacky that was poor judgment on your part and even you really need to get it together we need to see you more not pregnant than pregnant on this real housewives of atlanta i'm just saying come with it or go home Ooh, go hard or go home, girl. But it's pregnancies and you eating throughout your pregnancies. And it's just too much. It really is. It's too much. So I, I agree wholeheartedly. I would have been mad at you too. But I wouldn't been spreading the business how it was going. Because you really didn't tell us who told you that Mark was mad. Because you had ate prior to the functioning starting to eat. Okay. But uh, we go leave that situation. It goes on and said it was... It was bad, Cynthia concluded, seemingly implying it was worse than what was aired during the show. 
Okay, although the drama continues to play out on social media between Kenya and Bart, we'll have to stay tuned to the show and the reunion to see what's to come between the couple. And I'm like, guys, okay, what y'all think? Y'all heard my sidebars and stuff. Do y'all think Eva was wrong for trying to get her plate before the plates were supposed to be served for that night? Do you think Mark was went a little too far being ag uh, agitated with how production was showing him and being too invasive with his guests? Do you think he was wrong as far as going off on them? And do you think Mark should have acknowledge Kenya of all the things that she called herself doing to make his event a successful one uh, for the Atlanta side. I don't know what y'all think, but I would love to hear y'all interact in those uh, comment sections and tell me. And I am going to bid you all adieu because I do feel my pain trying to creep back. And we try to do videos in between all of those pain issues, okay? So I can kind of stay on task with you all. But anyway, hopefully you all had a beautiful Monday. Everything was cool and kosher. If not, get down in the comments. Tell me about them. You know, I read them. And let's see what we can do about changing our attitude <laughs> for tomorrow. Because that day has already passed. So leave all of that and all the drama, all the negativity in Monday. Alright, don't take it into Tuesday. Because then you're really going to mess yourself up. But I will talk to y'all next video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. And be uh, on guard when you see the notification bell. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit that like uh, button for all my videos. And definitely uh, sign yourself up for my notifications. So you know right quick, fast, and hurry when I drop the video. So you can come on over to the house and chill. Okay, chill with me. And I did see that I had some newcomers. Um, let's see, on the panel uh, down there interacting with one another. And I usually do this at the beginning of my video, but I kind of forgot and just started talking. But I want to say a shout out to Z.A. Myers. She was in the house today. Read a girl, I ain't trying to have no surgery now. You going a little bit too far, shit. But I am kind of scared when I walk by a ladder. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie to you. Rexy H, thank you for wishing me well. Bernie Smith, thank you for dropping by. And if I missed anybody, please charge it to my head, not my heart. It's just I've been going through a lot. Monica Cooper stopped by. I don't know if I said her name before. China Black stopped by. Jocelyn Cola stopped by. SAE Say Grace stopped by. And a lot of my old um, <laughs> seasoned young adults, rider dieters, always stay up in the comment section. And I am blessed to have known them, know them, and we're going to keep moving on this train. I don't know if I said a shout out to Dorothy Richardson or not, but hello, hello, hello. Uh, Yimola Omenjawa. Girl, I'm tearing up your name, but charge it to my head, not my heart. But her name is Pernet, well, spelled Y E M O L A. Last name is O M O J U W A. Welcome, my Nigerian African sister, over to the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I just want to bid y'all good night. Uh, say your prayers or say your spiritual, whatever you say when you. Uh, get on your knees and you go into your meditation moment. Say prayers out for me, Miss Anna Banana. Uh, Rita Hopkins, I'm thinking she's still uh, recovering from surgery as well. And anybody else that haven't reached out to me that need prayer, we always want to pray for each other and wish the best for each other until we meet again, okay? And Winifred Shallow stopped by as well. Uh, Winford Shallow, I meant to say. Uh, so y'all be blessed. I will see y'all next video. And uh, thank you Ronald Boykins for trying to come in. Bring some more men up in here. Um, and that's all I got. I got, let me see, Carmen Vasquez. She was saying some things. I agree with her. Uh, and let's just be able to just talk with each other. That would be nice. So nice, you know. Uh, and that's about it, y'all. 
But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all be blessed. Love you to the core. Good night.